Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! The law of faith. Write it down. The first key of the kingdom we explore is the law of faith. Numbers 23 and verse 19, please. Numbers 23 and verse 19. Jesus. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like no one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. Is there no one like you? No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Listen now. Faith is a law in the spirit. It's a key that can open doors. The Bible says God is not a man. He became a man, but he's not a man. God is not a man that he should lie. It says, nor the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Hath he spoken? and shall he not make it good let me tell you what this means that means before god speaks he checks if he can do it that if god cannot do it he will not say it so everything god says he has checked within himself to find out whether the capacity to make it happen is there or not are we blessed faith listen faith is not believing believing is part of faith faith is not believing are we together now faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction about god and the integrity of his word the name given to the action you take as proof of your conviction conviction is not faith conviction leads to faith many people continue to say they have faith uh-uh conviction plus actions of obedience is what equals faith please understand this every dimension in the kingdom commits god at the instance of your faith your action not just your knowledge are we together now faith is very powerful Hebrews 11 starts by saying, now faith is the substance, he says, of things hoped for. It says the evidence, the tangibility of things not seen. Things not seen. Things not seen. That means, for instance, I have some money here. If, if you want a bottle of water and I give you a thousand naira, I did not give you water, but I gave you the substance of what you are hoping for this is the evidence that you have water you take it to the shop and exchange it nobody will ask you how old you are to buy the water nobody will say are you a male or female are you Igbo or Yoruba once you can bring this it can purchase that which you desire so that the everything on earth has a price tag are we together now and that faith is currency you can take it to the marketplace of life and exchange it for victory and exchange it for speed and exchange it for things that have no business coming into your life so that when you have faith you begin to rejoice that even though i have not built the house this is the money for the house it's called faith it's a spiritual currency that we transact within the realm of the spirit 
it says by it the elders obtained a good report then the bible begins to say verse 3 through faith we understand he's telling you the formation of the cosmos he says through faith we understand that the walls were framed those realities were already in existence in the realm of the spirit the technology of their transportation to this realm was faith that they were framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear faith the bible in several instances in scripture habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 romans 1 verse 17 galatians 3 verse 11 hebrews 10 38 the bible says the just shall live by faith everybody say it please the just shall live by faith habakkuk 2 4 romans 1 17 they all say the same thing galatians 3 11 hebrews 10 38 that in this kingdom the just lives by faith look at me please there are no earthly guarantees over anything there is no guarantee humanly speaking that you'll be successful there is no guarantee that an uncle will help you man can change i can promise you and say as soon as you finish come to me and one year before you finish i die i'm not bad i'm just human your destiny helper can relocate to america just when no guarantee anywhere your guarantee is faith now faith is an equation and very quickly i will run you through it the first revelation of faith the first or the first equation is an encounter with something god has said the basis of faith is an encounter with something god has said if god has not said it there's no point believing it it will not happen it is only his word that controls realities remember he upholds all things by the word of his power so your journey to faith is first to find out what god has said even doubt comes based on what god has said satan wants to know what god has said are we together so it's important for you to understand faith what has god said i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end what has god said the path of the justice as a shining light it shines ever brighter unto the perfect day what has god said if they obey and serve me they will spend their years in prosperity their days in pleasure what has god said it's important for you to know what God has said concerning you, concerning your family. What has God said concerning your home? Psalm 112. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Then he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. What, God has, what has God said? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth. Are we together now? And that this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. This is what God has said. What has God said? Let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea, the fowl of the air, over everything that creepeth. And in doing so, Hebrews says, he left nothing that was not under the subjection of man. Many believers do not know what God has said. That's why their faith. Faith is not built by reading newspapers and magazines, as important as they are. The basis of faith is what God has said. An encounter with the written word. An encounter with the spoken word. There are things that God told Pastor Amos Fenwa, for instance, about this ministry. It becomes the things that Luke chapter 1 tells us that there are things that are most surely believed. Most surely believed. There are things God told me that becomes the basis of my faith. 
he told Joshua he said no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life it's a revelation so when the captain the angel came Joshua was going to remove his sword and kill him if that angel did not explain he would have been surprised because God's word already said nobody will be able to stand against you who are you to come there is a word that protects me what has God told you God told you if you come to Lagos I will ensure you will not beg why are you begging it means there is something about the word you've ignored listen satan only comes to you when the word comes if the word does not come to you he has no be there's nothing to fight it was until god spoke to man when satan came and met eve he said what did god say not how are you not what do you want to eat not have you explored other trees all i'm interested in is what did god say the moment the father spoke over jesus satan came and said um um if you are the son of god it's a diplomatic way to say prove it if you are sure of that voice i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded please hear me there are things god has said concerning us this book is full of promises and truths backed by the integrity and the jealousy of god there are things God has said that God is able to pick a man from the dunghill. You are not the first to come from a background where you were staying under, under a, a roofless house. It is not news. In this Bible, God lifted men from nothing and took them anywhere. It will not start from you. You are not the first to have an empty account. No, sir. You are not the first to be jobless no sir you see the things that are written are four times the bible says they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope hope that if he did it yesterday he would do it again are we together faith persuasion hmm. that in a strange land God lifted Joseph to become a prime minister. In a strange land, he lifted Daniel to become a prime minister through the reign of three kings. You are not the first to prosper or attempt to prosper in a land that is strange. The Bible already shows what God can do with such men. Apostle, nobody likes me. There was once a time a man called Jabez. The mother bore him in sorrow. You are not the first. But the Bible starts that book with the end of the story and Jabez was more honorable. That means people can change their state. What is this bad luck on my life that drives good things? And then you go to scripture. Because what I say to one, I say to all. You can open it there and say, my name is not Jabez, but my experience makes me look like Jabez and I can change it. What is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. He touched his thigh and he blessed him. And the sun arose and he called that place Peniel, the face of God. Is God blessing us? listen to me my brothers and my sisters god does not lie our lives are testimonies that when god talks to you take him serious when god tells you this year i am lifting you don't sit down hope and say god are you aware that march is no 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 that kind of talk is unbelief did you not hear that god is able to transit a people overnight it's in your bible by this time tomorrow what is it about listen God is not scratching his head wondering what to do with your life. Your problem is only an emergency to you, not to heaven. Please help me. You are who you are yesterday. Help me. Today and forever. What you say is what you do. That's the God that deserves. 
Listen, look at me. Faith makes you walk like life owes you. That you get up in the morning expecting to be favored. You get up in the morning. The Bible says he looked on them expecting to receive. Hallelujah. Faith is not many of this nonsense you see people do around. That's, that's why it doesn't work faith is an encounter with what god has said then your next assignment is to meditate up upon it until until the light enters you the entrance of thy word giveth light light you have understood listen please understand this all of the promises of God without exception are conditional. Let me repeat myself. All of the promises of God without exception are conditional. The cheapest thing we ever receive as believers is salvation. And even that does not happen automatically. There are people going to hell every day in spite of the fact that the substitutionary sacrifice is a reality because there is still a condition. If thou shalt believe with your heart and then verbalize it by confessing with your mouth, then that life becomes yours because the law is that when you believe with your heart, Romans 8, 10, right? Verse 8 to 10, and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved so you can hear the gospel and still go to hell the cheapest thing on earth still requires something from you listen to me when you act on the word you are not negating faith you are not negating the grace of god you are participating there is a participatory requirement to make the word of god come to pass many believers continue to cross their legs fold their arms just because you found it does not mean it will happen you will sit down and watch yourself grow old and yet the word of god does not work the word of god only works for those who work it you must engage it it says work out your salvation with fear and trembling your own salvation so I give you an instance. I'm living a life of failure. I'm living a life of defeat. And I am tired. Then I go to God in prayer. And I begin to see all the promises that continue to show me that I have a great destiny in Christ. Now, finding it is not enough. I must meditate upon it. The end of meditation is knowing where your responsibility comes. If you have not found where your responsibility comes, your meditation is not over. Knowing what God has said is the A part of your meditation. The B part is what is my role in making this prophecy happen. This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. He meets a blind man and puts mud and says, go to Siloam. A blind man, how will he get there? He heals 10 lepers and says, if you believe I've healed you, get up by yourself with your own energy. Prove that you believe me by taking action. Right? Go and show yourself to the priest. That's a risk. You go and meet the priest. What if it does not happen? Your moving proves you believe. Not just your saying. Now, watch this. Listen. Listen. Sir, I'm going to call you Keep saying you are coming, but don't come. Stand up. What's your name, sir? Emmanuel. Let me show you what many people are doing. Emmanuel, this is for you. Come and receive it. 
I'm coming, but don't come. Are you seeing what they are doing? I'm coming. I will even come now. I'm saying, come. I'm not playing games. This is not April Fool. This is for you. He says, I'm coming. You can even dance around and say, I'm coming and not come. And somebody from nowhere, come, darling. And you say, but they just gave birth to you last year. I've been saying, I'm coming since how many years? Is the one who takes the action that has faith. Please sit down. The one who moves is the one who believed. Not the one who says, I will move. Now, I'm not saying speaking is wrong. But that is not the only action required. God tells you, your job is in Lekki. If you believe it, get into the bus. Be on your way there i know you say i'm stupid that's why many people don't get breakthroughs it is at the point of going listen it says the wine had finished it said fill six pots huh then he says fetch that water start going to the rulers ah my, my job my reputation what if i get to the ruler i say why are you here I say please um somebody in the crowd told me that he's a miracle worker and that if i fetch six pots of water every manifestation of faith you only rejoice at the end of the result the process is a risk let me spell faith for you r i s k that's the spelling of faith faith is not spelled f-a-i-t-h no the doers of faith know the real spelling of faith it's called r-i-s-k that's it go and open the school and you put your hand on your head and say lord you mean it he says yes if you believe me you open a school that looks like a graveyard and you are surprised at the kind of people that come because god is not Amen. sit down we live in a very bless you darling god bless you we live in look at me we live in a very fearful risk averse now i'm not saying i'm not saying you just take risks that don't make sense are we together remember it is at the instance of his word if his word is not backing you better stay there because there will be catastrophic um consequences If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. Hmm. The word of God comes. Faith cometh. When, when Pastor Amos Fenwa was telling me about this place, acquiring this property and the wisdom, I looked and I said, wow. Truly, this man is not only a father and a patriarch, he truly is a man of faith. Every result only speaks in the end speaks in the end i have sent you to be a great warrior a great media giant and you are sitting down there saying lord give me some guarantees now you will sit down there till you become old have you noticed that people who are audacious it looks like they will fall and fail but they will not sometimes it looks like they are always falling but god's jealousy protects them because they went at the instance of his word so even what would have killed you it is true based on the statistics that it should kill you but then his jealousy steps in and changes that calculation anything times god is what the answer is so whatever he says the answer is failure plus god is the answer he puts there anything plus god once you add god into an equation the calculation changes my limitation plus god you will be expecting the result called failure and you'll be shocked to see what will be the final answer when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands impossible becomes possible say 
and encounter with the word of God number two your meditation you don't just find it and start running no 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 it must be settled in your heart settled in your spirit are we together now number three the third step to manifesting faith one is an encounter, two is meditation that brings understanding. It shows you the role you have to play. And then number three, actions of obedience. Not just action. Not just action. Actions of obedience. I told you that the end of your meditation is knowing the role you have to play to prove your partnership with the Spirit and your partnership with that word. If God wants to do it, he would do it. That's just a wise saying. It will never happen that way. Actions of obedience. Actions of obedience. Actions of obedience. Oh God, there is he that scattereth and withholdeth more than... I mean, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. I've been withholding, that's why. So I make up my mind that I'm going to sow. But this is more than money. I am acting on a revelation. Many people sow money. That's why they don't get anything. They are not acting on revelations. There is no revelation that sponsors your action. You just saw somebody coming to drop money and you too, you followed. Believe me, that's donation. There's no life there because the sponsor of spiritual things is understanding. It is more than the action. The energy that powers action is understanding. Two people can lift up their hands. One will get a response from heaven, another will not. Because one lifted up his hand with understanding. Understanding is very important. In all you're getting, get understanding. Why am I doing this? Why should I do this? For someone you just fast because you grew up knowing that every time you are in trouble fast. And as much as it is, it's a very emotional encounter but you will not get anything. But another person understands the role of fasting in opening up your eyes to light. Then shall your light break forth, the Bible says. And so you can go to fast now with understanding. And in spite of the inconvenience, your stomach is running, asking you to feed it. And you are saying, stomach, remain there. I'm tired of where I am. And suddenly, light opens. Do this, do this, do that. And that's the end of it. Faith. Faith. The Bible says, let me show you one scripture. It says in 1 John chapter 5 from verse 4. 1 John, Apostle John is teaching us something about faith. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God already has victory over this cosmos it says and this is the victory it doesn't just produce victory it is the victory that overcome the world even our conviction and the actions we take to support that conviction will always put you in a standpoint of victory hallelujah praise the lord everybody say i believe in god do you know there are many people who don't believe in God? They are only hoping he's not scamming them. You must settle it right here that God is not a man and he is able. You must settle it right here that God has the ability to lift me in this Lagos. Please look at me. Your, your land is a good land. You can move around hoping that one day, Lord, bring somebody to just like me. No, sir. No. When will I ever have land in Lagos? 
that kind of thinking you will never have it even if you have a job you'll be surprised that you will save when you are almost getting the money something will come and take you back because you really don't buy land with money you buy land with faith and you buy land with favor they got not the land in possession by their own swords neither did their own arm save them don't let anybody bully you over land everybody met land on earth nobody brought land from his mother's womb the earth is the lord the real landlord is god and you can negotiate with him and he will surprise you and give you a portion of his domain for your possession listen i'm not stupid i know what i'm saying I've stopped sharing my testimony so that it doesn't look like arrogance. I always want people to settle down and believe God. Because sometimes, once you share some things, they always appear like arrogance. But God's remain you. Align yourself and say, Lord, this year, that after this conference, it's called Open Doors. It's not just the name of a convention. My life should show it. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Can you spare me 10 minutes to teach you one more principle? <laughs> no, we won't say that long. Listen. These are the systems of the kingdom. You see, when you say a man is powerful, or when you say people have results, it's not their face, it's not their size, it's the weightiness of the exactitude of spiritual knowledge that supports their results. You see that? Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire. Be let your mind be holy God's fire